and delicious. I like to sprinkle in some baking science too, and that's what we're here to talk about today. I'm Stephanie, and I'm here to share my favorite recipes, baking tips, and tricks to help you whip up consistently amazing desserts and baked goods that will soon become a household favorite. Today, we're going to test the potency of my leavening agents. Testing is an important step in baking to ensure baked goods will still rise. Without proper leavening, baked goods will not have the desired texture we hope for. This activity is extremely fun with kids, so if you have a kiddo, get them in the kitchen to help you and do a little fun science experiment items in order to get started with this experiment. We'll need granulated sugar, an acid of some kind, typically lemon juice um, or distilled vinegar would work too. Instant dry yeast. I have a fresh pack here and a refrigerated pack that has been open for about a year, um, but I just keep it stored tightly in the fridge. Um, and then we have baking soda. This has been in my fridge open for several months, if not a year. Um, and this is my baking soda that I use to bake with every single day. I keep it in an airtight container stored in my pantry cupboard. And then I have two baking powders here today that we will be testing. This one I use all the time in my baking, and so it's almost done. Um, not much left there. And this one is brand new that I just opened today. Today we will be testing two different baking sodas. One is from my fridge and it's been open for several months. The other one is the baking soda that I cook with on a daily basis, and it has been stored properly in an airtight container. Now, because baking soda is a base and needs an acid to activate, we will be testing this with a small bowl and a common household acid. Today I'll be using lemon juice, but you could also use distilled vinegar. To test baking soda, just add a small amount of your acid. In this case, I'm adding a quarter cup of lemon juice. Next, you'll add about a half teaspoon of baking soda to the acid. Observe the reaction. If the mixture bubbles with small uniform in size bubbles, the baking soda is still potent and active. If the reaction is slow or minimal, the baking soda has likely lost its potency and should be replaced. If the reaction is very big with huge bubbles, don't use it for baking. Place it in your fridge as an odor absorber instead. You'll see the baking soda that I use all the time for baking has small uniform bubbles and the one that sits in my fridge has very, very large uneven bubbles, which will not be good for baking. Today we'll be testing two different baking powders. One is the baking powder that I use every day for my current baking. It's almost empty because I use this a lot. <laughs> Baking powder is double acting. It contains both an acid and a base. So reacting once in the presence of moisture and the second time in the presence of heat. This second baking powder that we're going to test is unopened, but I will open it now. You 
you will need a small bowl and some hot water to perform this test. You'll be pouring the water into the bowls. About a quarter cup of hot water is just fine. The water doesn't need to be boiling, but it should be hot. It can come straight out of a tap, a kettle, or from the microwave. After pouring your quarter cup of hot water into the bowl, add a half a teaspoon of baking powder to the hot water and observe the reaction. Look for an immediate and vigorous bubbling reaction similar to baking soda. A strong reaction means the baking powder is still active. If the bubbling is weak and there is no reaction, the baking powder is no longer effective at least not as effective as it should be. You'll see here, the baking powder that I've been using every day needs to be replaced. Yeast is a living microorganism that is stored in an inactive state. Its viability is crucial in baking for the proper fermentation process. You'll see here we're testing two different yeasts. One is a fresh unopened jar and the other is a gasketed glass jar that I keep stored in my refrigerator. I've had it for about a year. Commonly instant dry yeast can be sold in uh, one pound dry packs as you see here. Um, I'll be opening this up today and I will be replacing my refrigerator yeast with the fresh new pack. Um, but I just wanted to do this test to see just how my refrigerator yeast was holding up. I haven't used it for several months. So in order to activate yeast, you'll need sugar and warm water. Dissolve about one teaspoon of sugar in a half cup of warm water. The temperature of your water should be about 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 43 degrees Celsius. The temperature should be warm to the touch, but not hotter than 130 degrees Fahrenheit or 55 degrees Celsius, as temperatures above that can kill yeast. Stir the sugar to dissolve. Verify that your water is not too hot um, because too high of temperatures could kill the yeast. Now we are going to sprinkle one packet or a scant tablespoon of yeast over the sugary water. Do not stir the yeast. Layer it in an even layer and then let it sit. We are going to wait 10 minutes and then check the mixture. The 
mixture on the right is yeast that has been sitting in my refrigerator for at least a year and the yeast on the left is fresh. If the yeast is active, the mixture should be bubbly and will have expanded with a frothy layer on top. This indicates that the yeast is still alive and producing gases. If there is no change and the mixture remains flat, the yeast is dead and should no longer be used. So let's take a closer look and see exactly how the fresh yeast is comparing to the one-year-old yeast. Looks like the fresh has risen slightly higher than the one-year-old yeast. Um, it probably will take a lot longer for the one-year-old yeast to achieve the same results as fresh. So it's best to replace this. As you can see, the yeast is already producing some carbon dioxide. You can see the gas bubbles when I move this. This frothy layer on top is exactly what you are looking for. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more.